Right everyone, Web Collector here. I thought I'd do a video on a little survival kit I made up. Uh, give you like, ideas of stuff you can do in a very small tin. So this is the survival kit I'll be showing you. It's very small. I'll give you measurements in a minute. And this, I can guarantee you will not find a small, well I can't guarantee, but you, you won't find a small kit as good as this, what I've got in here. I've seen smaller ones, but they've got nowhere near as much stuff as this. And in fact, I've seen bigger kits than this that haven't got as much stuff as this has. So, alright, let's get down to it. We'll start a little tabletop thing now. Right, to start off, I thought I'd show you a comparison between a standard survival tin is the normal size this is a a smaller tobacco tin and then this is the one I've made up which is a as far as I'm aware I think it's a sweet tin it was bought from a museum when we was when I was on holiday somewhere on the coast of England right so we'll take these two away right so this is Six centimetres long, four centimetres wide, and eighteen mil thick. It's got two thick bands on there to use as whatever you like, and I haven't measured this, but it's got at least a metre, I'd assume. I'll, I'll tell you afterwards of this twine that can be uh, stripped down and used for uh, sewing things or it can be used for fishing you would tie this to part of your fishing line right, I'll tell you how long this is now two and a half meters of twine so this is the uh, case itself nothing really remarkable that's just what was on there I never bothered taking it off That says Robert's OP Nostalgic Classics. www.robertopcollection.com. So if you want to buy these tins, go there. I'll add a little link down there to this website if they sell them. Right, like I said, this will probably be the most complete kit you'll see for this size. I, I don't think you'll see many with this amount of stuff. If I could have got two more things, this would have been completely. Com Complete in uh, in my opinion, or three more things. But at at this moment, I didn't have these three items small enough. Okay, so start off. This is a spare match striker for matches that you'll see later. We've got threads there, cotton thread for a sewing kit. Got. Three needles, magnifying glass for fire starting, small signal mirror, fishing line, a small lighter striker which you can light fires with, large fishing hook. A small knife that can be sharpened very sharp. You know, any knife can be sharpened reasonably sharp. So, you've got in here a one inch blade, nail file, and a good little tool, a tin opener, and bottle opener. Snare wire for catching food. A little book of matches with about eight matches in. A little swivel to go with your little fishing kit there. Safety pin. 
another safety pin, small hacksaw blade which is sharpened at the this edge is sharpened so that can be used as a knife. A couple of different kinds of plasters, band-aids, three different types there. And then lastly, oh no, three different things. A lifeboat match, which is a like a waterproof match that you can even stick under water and it'll stay lit. Water purification tablets and two razor blades. And apart from, which I would have liked to include if I'd had the stuff, a small candle, a small compass and a couple of paracetamols, I think that is everything you'd need for a survival kit. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 things inside the kit and the uh, twine that outside. You could also polish the bottom. If you rub this off or uh, polish the inside, you can make that into an actual mirror. You could also stick one of these strikers inside the lid and also your information. I find that's a good idea, like this. I won't be able to show you it all, but underneath this tin is all my information. I'll just show you it just as name there. But, uh, up there, name, address. That's good if someone finds you. Yeah, so that's my kit. Goes to show what you can fit in one of these little tins. What helps is having a nice little thin knife. You know, it's only got an inch blade, but that inch blade, if it's sharp enough, to be honest, it doesn't even have to be that sharp. It'll still cut through an animal's flesh to be able to skin it. You know, and the the advantage of having the tin opening is a good idea. So, oh yeah, that's my kit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know any better kits than that, let me know. You know, for this size. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit my... Uh, blog, the link will be down there in the more info section.